Welcome to episode 1 of Tales of Zeus Lover's Saga. Today's tale is as wild as they come. The roller coaster romance of Zeus and Io, where deceptions, transformations, and a sprinkle of divine drama steal the show. Io, a mortal maiden with more charm than Zeus could handle, catches the wandering eye of the king of gods himself. Well, Hera wasn't having any of it. So, what's a Zeus to do? Transform Io into a heifer. But Hera is on to Zeus's antics and demands the heifer as a gift. Io, once a revered priestess, now aimlessly wandering, tormented relentless and guarded by a hundred-eyed giant named Argus, sent by Hera. Zeus, filled with guilt and longing, sent Hermes to free Io. Argus was lulled to sleep, and Io, finally, was free. Io's story is a wild ride of transformation, resilience, and divine chaos. Stay tuned, this saga is just getting started. Welcome back to episode 2 of Tales of Zeus Lover's Saga. Today, let's diving deep into the juicy love chronicles of Zeus and the fabulous Leto. Zeus, up to his old tricks, gets all starry-eyed over Leto. But hold your horses. Leto isn't just any beauty, she's a titaness, making their liaison all the more scandalous. When Hera caught wind of Zeus's latest crush, she went full on diva mode. But our man Zeus? Always a step ahead. He whisks Leto off to Delos, that floating paradise, making it the ultimate love hideaway. Leto gives birth to twins, Artemis and Apollo. These aren't just any kids, they're destined for greatness. But here's the tea. Zeus and Leto? Unstoppable. Hera's tantrums? Just background noise. Because when it comes to love, Zeus is playing for keeps, even if it means thumbing his nose at the goddess in charge. Stick around because this saga is just getting started. Welcome to our third episode of the Tales of Zeus Lovers Saga. Today, we delve into the scorching affair between Zeus and Simile. Simile's got this undeniable allure, and Zeus? Well, he's smitten. But leave it to Hera, the ultimate drama queen, to stir the pot. She plants this genius idea in Simile's head. Hey, why not ask Zeus to reveal his godly form? Simile demands Zeus to reveal himself. Reluctantly, Zeus obliges. Spoiler alert, mortals and divine radiance? Not a match. Zeus flashes that celestial glow, and poof, Semele's toast. But from this fiery end, a new beginning emerges. Zeus saves their unborn child, Dionysus, sewing him into his thigh until the time is right for his birth. So, even Zeus, the big shot of Mount Olympus, isn't immune to the crazy twists and turns of love. So buckle up, the saga's just getting started. Get ready for episode 4, where we dive deep into the swirly tale of Zeus and Europa. Zeus, in one of his classic moves, decides to take the form of a dazzling bull. Not just any bull, mind you, but one that's got swagger. Europa, our Phoenician princess. She's intrigued, maybe a tad suspicious, but mostly captivated. I mean, who wouldn't be? This isn't your run-of-the-mill bovine, it's Zeus incognito. And what does she do? hops right on for a bull ride like no other. They end up in Crete, and that's when Zeus does the big reveal. Surprise! I'm not just any bull, I'm the king of the gods. Europa's life takes a wild turn from Phoenician royalty to divine drama queen, popping out little demigods left and right. Hera had her suspicions, but Zeus laid out the deception thick and heavy. And let's be real, when Zeus is in full play mode, even Hera's eagle eyes can miss a beat or two. Strap in for episode 5, folks. We've got Zeus, but not in his typical godly glam. Nope, this time he's winging it, literally, as a swan. Now, Lita? She's drop-dead gorgeous, the talk of the town. But even she wasn't expecting Zeus to show up as a feathered heartthrob. As Zeus swanned around, Lita was caught in a whirlwind of feathers and flirtation. Lita! already wedded to King Tyndarius, found herself ensnared in Zeus's deceptive charm. Unbeknownst to her, that very night held a double twist. While she lay with her husband, the divine seed of Zeus had already been planted. So, what happens next? Boom. Twins. Not just any twins, mind you, but Helen and Pollux, each with their own blend of mortal and godly vibes. In an unexpected twist of fate, Lita's life becomes a thrilling saga of divine deceit, tangled love, 
an astonishing offspring with unfathomable powers. Welcome to Episode 6 of our Zeus Lover's Saga. Zeus, ever the master of disguise, decides to morph into Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, to get closer to the beautiful Callisto. Callisto, loyal follower of Artemis, is just minding her own business. When Artemis, spoiler, it's Zeus, starts showering her with attention. Now, Zeus thought he was being sly, but Hera, she smells mischief from Mount Olympus. Let's just say, when you play with fire, you're bound to get burned by Hera's wrath. Callisto ends up transformed into a bear. Yep, Zeus's antics have wild consequences. Later, Callisto roamed the forests, her son, Arcus, the hunter, aimed his spear at Callisto. Unknowingly, he's about to kill his transformed mother. Luckily, Zeus intervened, placing both in the sky as Ursa Major and Minor, immortalizing their tail among the stars. Buckle up because Episode 7 is about to spill some golden tea. King Acrisius, trying his darndest to dodge fate, because some oracle whispered that his own grandchild would be the end of him. Danae, a lovely daughter, finds herself in lockdown mode. Dad's keeping her in a bronze chamber like it's some luxury suite with a bad view. Zeus, never one to let a little thing like solid walls get in his way. He showers down his golden droplets, because why not make an entrance? The result? Danae is expecting, and out pops Persis. Zeus might have dodged Hera's watchful eye this time, but family feuds and divine shenanigans? They're just getting started. Perseus, unaware of any prophecy, decided to show off during a discus throw. And poor Acrisius just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Prophecy fulfilled without even trying. Remember, when Zeus is involved, expect the unexpected and a whole lot of drama.